So I can guarantee you that everyone watching this video right now, Papa, thinks that the title is hella fucking clickbait, yeah. but actually, it's not. So, Papa, yeah. this whole ordeal started about a month or two ago, where me and my friends were planning, me, uh, Hayes, F1, Streetman, hello Streetman, also editing this video, and Rappasen, and some people who already lived in Malta, some friends, were all going to meet up here in Malta and do some fun things for sort of a uh, lawn party and a summer meetup where we just bathe and have fun and go swimming. Now, I thought to go swimming, you can go to places in Malta which are already open, you know, just like by the beach or something, which is okay. But I also thought since Papa lives on a boat, maybe <laughs> it would be more fun to take out the boat. So we've taken out the boat before, and uh, since none of us have a sailing license, we need to hire for a few hours, like, a uh, sailor, and he'd take us out with the boat, but Papa, he was fucking retarded, okay? He was very angry, he was not fun at all, you know? So, I mean, I don't think he's gonna watch the video, but if you do, fuck you! <laughs> so basically, I thought, well... It would be fun to have the sailing license yourself, you know? So we could go out sailing, we could take the boat to the place where we want to swim, and we could go swim in the ocean, and we could go back ourselves. And we didn't need to pay anyone. Yeah. Especially a fucking asshole who was angry all day. <laughs> pa Papa still knows the guy, so he's probably gonna beat the shit out of Papa. So, basically, I decided, yo, I'll take the sailing license, that will be fun, and then I can take my friends out on the boat. So, about a four days ago, I think, my sailing lessons started. I opted for a five-day super intensive course of eight hours of sailing per day, where uh, I'll have the license after those five days. So, I'll be a licensed, what's it called, boat skipper. Yeah. So, I'll have a little sailing hat and a thing. <laughs> yeah! Oh, everything is going fine, right? For the last three days, I've been four, I don't know. Time is going very s weird now when I'm out in the sun for eight hours a day and I'm feeling like I'm gonna die when I get home. But basically, the last three days have been really well. I've been sailing, it's going well. I'm uh, in the progress of getting the license. Until today, Papa. Yeah. Until about 10 hours ago. It's currently 10 o'clock in the evening. We are sailing down the coast of Malta. So basically, here is Malta, right? You have the main island, you have this part which is called Guzu, and this part which is called Comino, but I was sailing out of the Valletta port over here. So basically we go from over here Going very well up into this harbor We anchor over here and we just chill for a few hours have lunch yeah. Talk about some theory stuff that's required for the course and then we head back now somewhere over here there is like a Maltese military camp military shooting range where they do shooting practices very very close to the ocean yeah their targets are actually in the ocean if we check here uh, on the charter we can see where we were yes you can see that is where the military shooting zone is so if we zoom in it's basically right over here yeah. and we were basically right over there yeah oh no i don't want to update my fucking <laughs> boat hello but yeah basically we were right in there now they stop shooting at one o'clock always the the instructor sailing instructor he said when when we're on our way upwards northwest we should stay far away from the uh, from the coast because you know their shooting practice is there but on the way back since we're coming back at 2 p.m there's no problem papa no, no problem they stop shooting at one What's the problem? Let's see if we go into 3D mode. Let's see if we can find it. So here's Pembroke. I know this like tower was very close to where they shot. I can't see exactly where it is on the map. It's not, it doesn't seem to be marked either. But basically, let's just say that it's that tower because it was very, very, very close, right? Yeah. So we're sailing out probably over here somewhere. Yeah. And uh, we are pretty much right in front of it. We are going around five, six knots in speed. So not very fast, we're just motoring along, taking a nice uh, stroll with the boat, right? Yeah. And right when we're in front of this uh, Malta shooting range thing, they start fucking, we hear bangs. And since I'm in control of the boat, I'm like, 
what the hell is that? And I hear these bangs and I look uh, towards the coast because that's where they're coming from. And I see this like long shooting range hut and I just see puffs of smoke. And I'm like, oh, they're still shooting. That's so cool. We can all barely see the targets that are down into the water and we see splashes of water down from the ocean. I'm like, oh, that looks so cool. When I'm standing there at the back, far back end of the boat by the rood there, the wheel, I hear and I'm like, oh no. <laughs> and I start fucking I, D-Day. I start seeing my friends falling. I, I, I just see water splashes and I hear German yelling and I'm, ah! ah! And it seems that no one else heard it because everyone else on the boat was far more into like the house part of the boat. So I hear, and that's fucking so scary, right? That sounds, you don't hear that unless you're close, right? Right? Mm -hmm. Hello? Yes, I know you missed. You're still here. Yeah? I'll talk to you later with new information and um, another plan. Okay, bye. Who are you talking what? to? No, it was wrong number. Was that, was that a fucking hit, man? No. <laughs> Let me see your phone history. No. <laughs> no. no. Let me see. It's, no. You have him name tagged as Hitman! <laughs> I was uh, Streetman, I think it was. No, it said Hitman, parenthesis, kill my son, Papa. <laughs> <laughs> Jokes aside, Papa, you do not yeah. hear that. <laughs> God damn. Let me Google. How, cl how, how close <laughs> to <laughs> shooting to hear. Who's <laughs> talking how close to shooting to hear whiz? It worked! How close to a bullet you can hear it whistle but It worked. I literally searched and it worked. Was it a hiss or a snap? It was a hiss, not a snap. I didn't hear like, you know, in day C when you get shot. Like a fucking snap. I just heard then like- you had been hit. Yeah, then- oh! But I heard multiple- and that's, that was fucking scary. Short answer is too damn close. Yeah. Short answer <laughs> is too damn close. Oh wait, I'm gonna do actual research. Whiz, in the general area of you, not real close, but not exactly far away either. The snap, it means that they're shooting at you, like five, ten feet away. <laughs> oh snap, they shooting at you! That's what you hear, motherfucker. Mm -mm. That's drive-by. The, there's two windows on the car, one with a Tech 9 and the other one with a sassy black lady. Mm, you better die, boy! <laughs> it seems that the whiz is what happened, what I heard, because I heard a distinct and that's in the general area of our boat, right? It's not like 10 meters away from me, but still, that if, if you hear a whiz and you see the Maltese military is firing, you should get away. How close are you if you hear a jizz? Basically, Papa, that's fucking scary. And as I said, none of the other people on the boat heard it, really, because I, as soon as I heard, like, you know, I'm a fucking fat gamer, Papa. I don't know anything about real guns or getting shot at, right? So basically, Papa, this is what happened. We were out on the boat, they were doing military practices, trying to hit some target out here. They shoot, the bullet goes like this, and then when it hits the water, it ricochets, right? So it it it's like when you skip a rocks, it doesn't just go broof unless it's mm. a fat rock. So the bullet it ping, and bounces up again, right? So I'm fucking scared at this point, right? I'm actually my heart is beating. I'm like, oh no, is this gonna be some freak accident where they decided one fucking day the military was gonna stay longer than one, which is their deadline? They were gonna do some firing exercises, and all, all of us die. Just everyone, <laughs> the whole bunk, boat sunk, Titanic, everyone just dead. Yeah. So the first thing I do is I'm at the wheel. I just fucking duck, dude. I just literally throw myself. I'm like, I'm like literally taking cover like this, Papa. So basically just to demonstrate what I was doing was I was just driving the boat like this, having a nice time. So suddenly I hear whoosh. So the first thing I do is this, Papa. And then I do like this, Papa. I do the stanky leg and I drive the boat like this. Do you understand? Yes. This is fucking me in a war, Papa. I'm doing the stanky leg and I'm almost dying. Getting shot at, taking cover. Like a chicken? Yeah, no, like a SWAT. <laughs> SWAT <laughs> member. <laughs> I'm a knap, And I thought you were kidding. Yeah, everyone thought I was kidding because they didn't hear. First of all, so the people who were on the boat, right? It was me, Linda, my dad, my dad's friend, who is also boat helper, 
his girlfriend and the boat trainer. Basically, everyone was like 50, 40 plus, right? So they've all lost their hearing probably <laughs> in the <laughs> Vietnam War, I don't know. Huh? So they didn't hear it. So they were all thinking I was kidding. And everyone's like sitting just still like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> and I was, I was like on the floor like this. I'm like, are you serious? Are you hear the whizzing and you are not gonna fucking take cover? So everyone was laughing at me, but I stayed to the ground and even the boat instructor, he put full thrust on the boat. And we were talking about this a few hours earlier. I was like, why don't we go full thrust? He's like, no, because it takes, it, it destroys the engine. It's very bad. Only do it in emergencies. And he, that bitch, yanked <laughs> instantly. And we were going as fast as we could. And I still heard the fucking zoom. And uh, yeah, basically we survived, Papa. Yeah. The boat didn't get hit. But we heard, I heard whizzes, so the bullets were close. That is the scariest fucking thing I've ever encountered, Papa. Literally the closest I've been to dying. I mean, the military was firing automatic rifles basically towards us, right? Yeah. I just imagine, this is probably what happened, Papa. They just, they just fucking, they, with their binoculars, they're like, Oh shit, look over there, dude. It's the fucking, the, 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 the pale tourist fucks on the boat. And they just, all the Maltese military. Fuck. The fucking, they're screaming in their fucking language. Oh, they, they kill the white people. <coughs> so yeah. yeah, I think this will be the first and ever video that I make where I put almost died in the title and it's not clickbait. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. So thank you for watching, guys. And remember...